Stop spoiling your gamer son, for God's sakes, you weird moms. Don't do that. Let him grow up. Today, we are looking at a mom who has spoiled the living sh out of her kid. F I can't curse. F I just cursed again. You're not supposed to curse within the first 15 seconds. I'm supposed to wait a little bit longer. Fuck. We're gonna look at an account of a mom who is spoiling the fuck out of her kid. And that's what we're doing. All right, let's get into it. Okay, here we go. How I keep my gamer son hydrated. So my son's so fussy and doesn't like the taste of plain water, we found another solution. Great. Water cooler and Prime. Prime's really hard to come by in Australia, so with the help of the retail correction. One by one, filling that water case up. You can't even buy that empty. I mean, she bought this, probably dumped out all of the water, and then refilled it with Prime for her gamer boy. With the school holidays, he doesn't even have to go out of his room to- The old little minion mug, got it right there, doesn't even have to leave the room. School holiday fun. And the caption was, I know his organs screaming for help, and uh, yeah, don't do that to your kid. Holy shit, that kid is going to have issues. One second. This shit is fucking gross. This is gross. This is from when Andy was here like, what, four weeks ago now? I still have it. Ugh, Prime. Dude, I know. That one was so not good. I haven't even found a reason to want to take a sip from it. It's fucking nasty. It's just so sweet. It's so sweet. Prime is disgusting. If you're giving your boy only Prime from a full fucking water jug, you are doing him a disservice. Also, another thing, if you're someone that games a lot or you're at a computer a lot, you work from home, those trips to the kitchen to get water are so important. Just getting up and going even 10 feet, that's the most steps you're gonna get in all day. It's kind of crucial, actually. You're gonna rob him of the only exercise he's gonna get in the entire day. It's all right, so anyways, fussy. I went to her account and it is bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like I want to investigate a little bit because I can't tell like how much the sun is in on this. Like how much of a scheme it is. Do they make money from it? I don't know. All right, so let's just kind of click around. How I stopped my 17 year old son's gaming habit. I noticed he had a bit of a habit when he started playing in the bath and he- Okay, hold on, rewind that. Oh, don't like it, don't like it. I don't support this behavior. What the fuck was that set up? Is that the prime that he's pissing out? That's the only explanation I can think of. How do you even do this? This has to be set up for the video. There's no fucking way anyone actually does this. <laughs> when he started playing in the bath and he'd be playing all night, eight hours a day. Oh, so I had to do something about it. He'd keep us up at night. Hear it. Stop right there. So I think it was time to do something strong. We made a lockup box. I took all his monitors. And every okay. night before bed, he would put all his stuff in here. But then he got a bit cheeky and wow. I discovered that he'd left this one out. So we had to put locks. Locks on the on the sticks, really? Okay, now this one's kind of the opposite of the last one. Before I'm like, you're giving your son way too much freedom. You are babying him so hard. Although she still is babying him, but now massively controlling, taking all of his screens. Although maybe he does need them taken away if this is a fucking situation. But this seems like you're enabling this. This seems like this was your fault as a parent to get to this point. So I don't think shutting all the screens off in a lockbox is gonna help very much. You know what? I think this kind of makes sense. I think this whole situation in the back for mom kind of adds up. So we had to put locks on that one. See, I can't tell. Is this a fucking joke? I can't even tell. <laughs> that has to be a joke, right? Putting locks on the fucking, on the actual joysticks. Keeping it safe. Okay, but you know, it's funny because after this one, I'm sure he's right back gaming like next week. All right, here we go. This is her, her other son who has a song out. So people in the comments like, oh, it's all a marketing scheme. This is definitely a marketing scheme, but it's for her other son. Like, I don't think this is all for that song. Anyways, let's follow the birthday legacy here. So it's my boy's 18th birthday tonight. Congrats. So he's allowed to have his first alcoholic beverage. My dog, you're turning 18. You gotta get rid of the minion jug. This has to go. Beer tastes better in a minion mug. Go on. Ah, the minion mug. I think he's in Australia, so I think they're able to drink it. Oh, that's enough now. It's a school night. I'll cut him off with the sip. Don't want to get too wasted for school tomorrow. Oh, enjoy. Down the hatch. Oh, little spillage. Has he done his first line with a minion straw yet? On to the next. So we had a great night last night for my son's 18th birthday party. 
We had lots of his friends over and... Okay, now this is good to see. From the videos before, you'd think this kid has zero friends and that his mom has kept him in to not be able to see anybody. But it seems people over, are in person. They got some beautiful gifts Peter for Griffin him. cake. More prime, he of course. He even managed to skull his first drink behind my back, cheeky fella. All was going well until we discovered that someone had snuck into the party while we were out the back singing happy birthday and had gone into his room and stolen some of his really special minion stuff. Okay, yeah, someone said it before, the comments calling it out too. Uh, Cap. What the fuck? Who wants to steal his minion shit? Robbers don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> what valuable minion shit did he have that was worth stealing? We hired security for the night. Empty damn body! Empty! 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 What? What the, what the fuck hell is this? Get out! Leave! So we had a great- No way, this is real. That's our son acting with his friends. Yo, give us our minion shit back! Those are our minion collectibles! That was our Rise of Gru collectibles! Give that shit back to us! They kill a man over the minion gear. All right, continue. This one's satire. For, uh, this one has to be. So my son turned 18 last week and he's decided to go VR clubbing. Nice. Dua Lipa, what a vibe. Dancing with the boys. So cool. <sighs> Is this kid okay with this? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> God, this very could well be, is it satire around, isn't it? It really could be. All right, if we're gonna go full analysis mode on the satirical nature of it. Some of this obviously is real because exhibit one, look at the decor. He does own some kind of nerdy collectible stuff. Nothing wrong with it, but it is the case that that exists. We saw the minions. The minions were real. So, so far, yeah, you're 18 years old. Your mom's a little overbearing. And this is a weird account where she just kind of films you doing shit as if you're still five years old. Sensual. That's not satire. I mean, you got minion face paint. I mean, these exist. These are real things he owns. This isn't... <laughs> I think he really loves minions. I think he does. Oh, shit. I wasn't even looking at this. When your son makes a sneaky online purchase with your credit card and he doesn't tell you what it is, but tells you you'll love it, that's it. Oh, buddy. Son oh, man. I'm more impressed about how many people came to the birthday party at this point, to be honest. Also, what was he even doing before you came in? Also, I missed the minion bed sheets before, too. Oh, man. Either they're really committed to the bit or my dog, you gotta grow up. I'm sorry. All right. Okay. Okay, that fit kind of goes hard, though. I'm kind of with that one. Okay, shower curtain minions as well. He went to the movie, of course, with his minion bow tie. Okay, that's the face paint for the four. I fell. Okay, the people are saying this pick goes kind of hard. This pick does go kind of hard. Yes, I'll give it to him. I'm not bullying this kid, all right? The point of this that we're doing right here is to say this is the mom's fault. From what I'm seeing so far, this is so clearly the mom's fault. This kid is not entirely responsible for where he's at in his minion <laughs> fandom. It's because this crazy fucking mom enables it by buying him water jugs of prime. I um, just got back from the shopping center and some really horrible kids told him to take his shoes off and left him with no shoes his phone was out of battery and he had to catch the bus home i mean that's that's fucked up right hey bullying that's fucked up people taking his shoes good god awful what do you think those shoes looked like if anyone sees these shoes for sale online anywhere mom that's your job you say don't wear these to school son don't wear these to school don't wear minion shoes you're 18 years old for god's sakes don't get me wrong here i'm not agreeing with the bullies but what the fuck are these things you're asking for it <laughs> No, it's fucked up. If it's real, let's put a poll up. I still don't know. And I've looked at a lot of these. Is it real or fake? I think both. I'll put in a bit of both as a number three. And I think you guys are on board with that too. Slim margin between fake and real. That's for sure. Slim margin there. Oh, I didn't even realize her fucking like mummion. You're the mummion. The mummion. You're enabling this shit. Stop it. Let him grow up. The sun's TikTok. Where is it? I ate your meal. Okay, so here's the sun. Okay, all right. We're not bullying. Okay, this entire thesis of this reaction is stop spoiling your kids down in these primes I mean, you no man should have this many empty prime bottles Just should not happen Too many Heart disease 
There's mom happily filming it. Rose spent his entire life savings buying all that prime. All right, let's keep looking. I mean, oh no, dude, the minion shit doesn't stop. Okay, so we've moved on from baths and we've gone to showers, so. Just stop him at one point, just say no. At one point, stop him, stop this. So we had to minify it. I would feel so unsafe in that bathroom because it's either the decor of a five-year-old or a 65-year-old and there shouldn't be an in-between. We've got minions on the iPad. What's your issue with minions? minions. On the He's 18 years old. Do I have to make an argument? Do I need to debate this one? Do you need the argument? Minions as a movie probably relates closer and is directed more towards a younger audience and demographic. Therefore, if you are an, uh, an older gentleman, uh, such as 18 years old, you should probably not be showing it as a proxy for your personality as you might show other people that you're still immature and not capable of being a grown-up adult. That do it for you? It's an immediate, fuck no, I want nothing to do with you to most people. The guy seems chill. I, we're not bullying the kid. <laughs> <laughs> I have to reiterate, not bullying the kid, all right? Bullying the mom. So how's date night going? Mom, please, no. Having a date night with his girlfriend. I'm bullying the mom. I'm bullying the mom. You do this to your kid. You put him on blast like this, all right? That's her, not him. Fuck the mom. <laughs> Even if it is fake. I mean, th this kid is getting ripped on, dude. What are you watching? I'm watching Dream. Dream? Yeah. Is that a good movie? Yes. Hey, it's not a movie, mum. It's a YouTuber. This is so fake. That's so fake. He's got the chips on him, too. Watching Dream in VR. So fake. I can see through it. I'm smart. God damn it. <laughs> Shit, it's everywhere in the house. There's not a single inch of this house that has a lack of minion theme. A toilet topper thing on top, I mean, yellow fucking toilet paper. I don't like it. This is the one area of the bathroom too where it just looks like there's piss everywhere. It would blend in very well. You would have no idea. <laughs> I know it's all for jokes, it's kind of cringe, but I don't know, you're being kind of harsh. Maybe, perhaps. I'm trying to make it clear I'm not bullying the kid. I feel like they're doing, I don't know. Cause here's where my mind's at. I feel like the kid actually likes the minion stuff a lot. And I'm not trying to bully him out of his enjoyment, but the mom shouldn't be enabling it so hard and then putting it on the internet as well. You're putting your kid on blast. I mean, you are. Saturday night, movies at home with my boy. Turn around, mate, show us your face. Aha, <laughs> show us your plushie. Like, it's set up, though, too. It's set up. Don't come at me and say I'm a bully, all right? Because this is set up as well. They want this opinion to happen. They're leaning into it. I'm telling you, there's more to the story. There's more to the story, and I don't know what it is. TikTok's biggest mystery. I agree, because I can't tell. Look at the top comment. Illumination's minions. They're enabling it. Everyone's enablers, except me. <laughs> God damn it that we've cracked the code. This is an industry plant for minions, isn't it? This is all a fucking ruse. I would not be 10 feet near this bathtub. I wouldn't be in near this room. Okay, so this is how we do bath time for my 14 year old gamer obsessed son. Oh, see this shit? All right, they weren't lying. They weren't lying. We have actual lies now. We have actual lies. She said 14 year old son here. 2021, he just turned 18 in 2023. Doesn't add up, unless he's got an even younger brother. We have a Minions drink, especially. Then we have all his favorite toys, gaming toys, and a Minion colored bath bomb. Then all his laptop ready for this him to play. Marketing. All his special marketing. Minecraft toys and Fortnite things. And you know what? He's gonna love it. <laughs> the Fortnite song in the background too. <laughs> So when I went to wake him up this morning, morning, I saw that he obviously hadn't been well overnight. Among Us cookies? Oh, God damn it. So I made him special minion breakfast. Loves the noodles and the... What the fuck is that? What the fuck is this meal? I wouldn't wish this meal on someone getting the death penalty tomorrow. Ramen egg with... Among Us cookies? Oh, that's brutal. If this isn't a meme account, I'm calling Child Protective Services. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling, man. Oh my God, look what I've come home to after five nights of night shift. Oh, I'm gonna have to clean this all up. Pizza box with crust. Oh, all that rubbish. Oh, he's yuck. Messy. Oh, he's a naughty boy. Let him clean it. Why are you babying this child? That's much better, nice and clean. Ready to get fucking dirty as shit tomorrow. Oh my I'm sorry, I'm so interested in this These comments are making me sad. Oh. I'm just a mum. I'm just a blogger. And this 
world is so hard and awful at the moment. I am so con- even that voice sounds fake. It just sounds fake. I don't believe it. Is that judgmental of me? This sounds fake. Maybe I'm being judgmental. These comments making me ah, fuck me. It's so hard to tell. Don't listen to them. Hashtag WAP. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Guys, it's a sarcastic account. You're all too slow to realize that. That's why I'm thinking too. And I won't be bullied into thinking that I'm bullying. I said it. I flipped the script. No one should be this obsessed with minions. And no one should be babying their son this much. All right. Okay, we'll watch this one because it's not safe for all audiences, I guess. Oh, I don't know what it is. It's like a horror movie. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I did need the fucking warning on it. Oh my god, I just shit myself. Oh no, he's making minion NFTs. He's out. Oh, he's done for. Oh, we lost him. There's no hope for this kid, actually. There's no reason to even try anymore. Your son bullied me? <laughs> he called me names because I don't like any of the Despicable Me movies. Damn, that's fucked up. Yeah, fuck this kid. I changed my mind. All right, well, I guess what we think is that it's half satire, half call CPS, but like... Maybe as a joke column, you know? Like, hey, check this out. But like, if not, like, I was just joking. Anyway, stop spoiling your game or son. That's my message. And I'm not a bully. Unless that's cool.